Hi, everybody. My name is Dr. Hamid Osare, and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Electrical and Biomedical Engineering here at the University of Vermont. I mainly teach courses in the area of signals and systems, controls, and autonomy geared towards junior, senior, and graduate levels. I also have an active research program in these areas where I investigate coordination and control um, with applications in power systems, automotive systems, and aerospace systems. This is the control and autonomy lab at UVM. Students work in this lab to get hands-on experience in the area of controls that they'll use throughout their education and careers. The device you see here is an experiment that our junior level control system students use to learn about algorithms uh, that are used to control dynamical systems. This is essentially an inverted pendulum where you have a free rotating pendulum at the bottom and the base of this pendulum is connected to a motor and the motor is the only thing that is actuated. By sending voltage to the motor, you can make the pendulum swing left and right. The goal is to design the control algorithm that actuates this motor using measurements of the angle of the pendulum to swing the pendulum up and stabilize it in the upright position. So I will show you how that works uh, by running the experiment. So here the algorithm is uh, swinging it up it's stabilized in the upright position and you can see that it's pretty robust uh, to disturbances such as taps of the finger. Uh, the dynamics of this inverted pendulum are very similar to bipedal walking robots or rockets flying into space. And here is a quadcopter that students will use in the upcoming autonomy course to design controllers for and stabilize it. As you can see, our students in electrical engineering use state-of-the-art facilities to deepen their education. They work with each other and also very closely with faculty to deepen their understanding and build the skills necessary to succeed in their future careers.